Hello and welcome to this short video in our BCDR series. Subject of this video is Cloud Instant Virtualization. Cloud Instant Virtualization is the ability to run a created snapshot in our purpose-built cloud. This is typically used for those workloads that we do need, but do not require to be run on-site. So let's go and take a closer look on how to actually run a virtualization in the cloud. First of all, we need to know which customer and as such, which device we need. And in this case, we will need this device right here. And from here, we open the web remote to the BCDR unit. After the interface is loaded, we need to know which server or which servers we need to run in the cloud. So let's go to the restore tab. Here we see a list of potential machines we need to restore. And in this example, I need to run this Ubuntu server in the cloud. Of all the restore options we have, we will take the virtualize in the cloud. And next is a very important step to consider. It's the recovery point. Now, I don't know what the reason is to restore this machine, but it is very important to know which restore point to actually start. And in most cases, this is determined by your DR documentation and what actually happened. And while this video does not cover the choice for the restore point, I will still take this 12 o'clock one, for example, and we will click the restore. And here we will see the cloud hybrid third page appear. Here we can select a few options that need to be chosen very carefully. And this, the reason for this is we can't change them once the machine is started. So we need to select the RAM settings, the storage controller, and the networking options we need. In this case, bridge to any active interface. So the rest of the network can see it. We click build VM. It will find a node Select the proper recovery point and it will make a virtual machine with the settings we just took. All we need to do now is press and start VM and we will wait until this machine is fully booted. And at this point we can choose to monitor the boot process and actually start a web remote to the console of this machine. Now, this machine is starting in the data center as it would locally in your network. There you have it. Let's log in and see if everything works. Okay, so there we have our Ubuntu desktop. So let's see if I can ping our domain controller um, that is still running locally in the network of the customer. Ping AMSART DC. Remember, this is from our data center to the local LAN. And yes, we have a connection with the local machines. And we run in this, this in the data center in Datos Cloud. And we are back in business. So there you have it. A fully booted machine in the Dato Cloud. Ready to run and back into production for your customers. And with that, this concludes our video on Cloud Instant Virtualization. Thank you for your time and don't forget to check our other videos in the BCDR series.